This is 2.1, 2.2, Solving Equations, Day 3 Lesson. Uh, the objectives to solve an equation for the missing variable and to create a table and graph to show all possible solutions to an equation. Um, we also will be writing an equation um, based on a word problem. Uh, and you'll see that in numbers 1 and 2. Was, and that's where we're going to start. So in number one says that Chip earns a base salary of $500 per month as a salesman. In addition to the salary, he earns $90 per product that he sells. If his goal is to earn $5,000 per month, how many products does he need to sell? And the directions say to define a variable and write an equation for the situation and then solve. Okay, so... Um, Let's kind of highlight some key words. So we have um, his base salary is $500 per month. He earns $90 per product that he sells. And his goal is to earn $5,000 per month. And then the question says, how many products does he need to sell in order to reach that $5,000 goal? All right, so um, let's define our variables first. So we'll, we have our X and we have our Y. So your Y, um, that is going to be... Um, the total monthly salary. Okay, so Y is going to be the total monthly salary, and then X is going to be the number of products sold. Okay, so his monthly salary depends on the number of products he sells. So your dependent variable is always going to be your Y. Your independent variable is always going to be your X. So I'll repeat that again. The reason I said that our Y was the total monthly salary is because that month the monthly salary depends on the number of products sold so the y is your dependent variable and your x is the independent all right so let's create an equation so we're going to say that the total monthly salary y is going to equal um, ninety dollars times x. So he makes $90 for every product that he sells, so 90x. And then we're going to add the $500 that he's that is his base salary that he makes every month regardless if he sells any product or not. Okay? So that $500 is constant. He he doesn't have to sell any products and he's making $500 at least. All right? So um, that's that five hundred dollars is your constant. It's your initial value. All right. Now we have two variables, a y and an x, and uh, so we can't really solve. So there's got to be another piece of information we got to plug into this puzzle, and that's going to be this right here, the five thousand dollars. That's his goal. His goal is to earn five thousand dollars per month. All right. So we're going to plug five thousand in for y and that's going to equal 90x plus 500 and now we're in a position to solve for the number of products sold and to answer this question how many products does he need to sell to make 5,000 a month alright so um, we got to get x by itself so in order to do that we're going to subtract 500 from both sides all right, 
and that's going to leave us with 4,500 equaling 9x. And then we're going to divide both sides by 9. So x is going to equal um, 45 divided by 9 is 5. So 5, uh, and then, uh, so 4,500 divided by 9, that's going to give you 500. So he needs to sell 500 products. All right, and that's your final answer. All right, number two, it says a pizza shop charges $9 for a large cheese pizza. Additional toppings cost $1.25 each, $1.25 per topping. Heather paid $15.25 for her large pizza. How many toppings did she order? Okay, we got to define our variables first. Um, so... We are going to have, let's, so we have our X and we have our Y. So our Y is going to be the total cost. And then your X, okay, so what, um, uh, what's your X going to be? That's going to be the number of toppings. Alright, so Y is total cost, your Y, and Y is number of toppings, your X. Well, total cost depends on the number of toppings that you pick. So Y is your dependent variable, X is your independent. Okay, so the independent goes with the X, the dependent goes with the Y. All right, so let's write our equation. Y, the total cost, is going to equal. All right, so um, the, the pizza shop charges $9 for a large. Okay, so no matter if you get no top, so uh, with zero toppings, just the cheese, you're paying 9 bucks. And then if you want more toppings, it's a, tw uh, a buck twenty-five per topping. When you see this word per right here, you want to think multiplication. So a hundred and twenty, I'm sorry, one a dollar twenty-five per means times, and then the number of toppings, that's gonna be your X. So we're gonna have one point two five X and then plus our initial value of nine dollars. So there's your equation. Now, we have two variables that um, are unknown. So there's got to be um, something out there missing because it tells us it wants us to solve. Well, we can only solve if you know we're, we have one missing variable. So look at the 1525. That's what Heather paid total. That's her total cost. So we're going to plug that in. And now we're going to solve for x, the number of toppings. So we're going to subtract 9 from both sides. So it's going to give us 6.25 equals 1.25x. So now we're going to divide both sides by 1.25. And that's going to be 5. So 5 equals x. So Heather ordered 5 toppings. Alright, problems 3 through 14. 
Um, I'm not going to go over because we went over those for the day one and day two lesson. So I'm going to skip down here to number 15. This is part C. Solve the following equations for the variable specified. Okay, so we have not done this yet. All right, so uh, for number 15, we have A equals L times W. And it says solve for W. All right, so we're just applying the same rules our, um, as if, you know, if we had a number and a variable, numbers and variables. So to get W by itself, all right, we have to get rid of the L. What we have is L times W. What undoes multiplication? What's the inverse operation of multiplication? It's division. So we're going to divide both sides by L. In doing so, the L's on this side cancel out, and you're left with just a W. So I'm going to write that. I'm going to write that down. And then what does that equal? Well, A over L. And you're done. You just solved for W. Okay, let's, um, let's go to number 19. So for number 19, we want to solve for L. There's L. So in order to do that, we got to get it alone by itself on one side of the equal sign. So we got to get rid of this plus 2w. Well, what's the inverse operation of addition? It's subtraction. So we're going to subtract 2w from both sides. And so we have p minus 2w equals... 2L. L is not by itself yet. It has this 2 with it. So you, it's um, 2 times L. What undoes multiplication? Division. So I'm going to divide by 2 now. So I have to divide this whole other side by 2. So I'm going to have P minus 2W over 2 equals, the 2's cancel, L. And so this can be your answer. Now, you may also see it written um, you, a, a different way. You can, um, what this, so when we divide this whole thing by 2, that means really we have to divide the p by 2 and the negative 2w by 2. So you could see it written 2, I'm um, sorry, p over 2 minus 2w over 2 equals L. And then this would simplify to p over 2 minus w, because the 2's would cancel, equals L. So this is the simplified answer um, and this you know that could be an answer answer as well but we're gonna try and go for the simplified go for the simplified answer okay but if you see this as an answer just know okay that works as well all right so um, that's going to wrap up this this video lesson. The uh, homework that you're going to do for this is the rest of this worksheet. Um, we've hit on the, the main points and problems that we have not discussed in this three-day lesson on uh, solving equations. And um, you guys are uh, well equipped to, uh, to complete this, this worksheet. So that's what we will be doing uh, in class.